Hi, my name is Jo and I'm here today with a Thread Up Goodie Box haul. This uh, is a mono... Uh, let me try that again. This is the goodie box where you pick your own items. You get 10 items. I picked 8 of these and my stylist picked 2. You have to order things from your home warehouse. Mine is in Pennsylvania. I think it's Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So that's the closest one to Virginia. My items come from there. It's $10 and that $10 comes off of whatever you keep. If you don't keep anything, you lose your $10. I am so cheap, I will find something in each box that I wanna keep and, <laughs> and I will keep it. That's why I like to pick my own items. The one time I did let a stylist pick more items, they sent me what I consider to be the garbage that wouldn't sell. So I don't trust Thread Up to pick me good pieces, but I do trust myself. So I picked eight of these, and if you're interested to see what I picked, then keep on watching. I found my, uh, print out of what's in my box. So I'm not sure which one this is. I have two uh, women's torrid casual dresses in this haul. They both were originally $62. One of them is now $28.99 and one of them is $26.99. And I'm not sure which is which. One is a 16 plus and one is an X, one X. So I guess if I look, where's the other one? This one, I can tell by the um, size. So which one is this? This one is the one. So this one must be the 16 plus, which means this dress is $28.99. So it's a long dress. It's a maxi dress. It's really pretty. I love the floral. I picked this dress and it is um, not elasticated, but there's enough give there. This is the cute feature, which I love, but find a little bit annoying because I wear a bra. Uh, this dress was a contender for me to keep, but I've just looked in the mirror and I've noticed that this back bit does like, you see it sticks out. The only way I can make it not stick out is to massively pull this down the front so that more of my chest is showing than I like. Like I want it here and then the back bit puckers out. So for me, this is not a keeper, even though it's gorgeous. I, I love this dress. It's beautiful, it's in good condition, it flows, like I can spin, which I love being able to do. I could wear this to work with a cardigan and a, you know, a top that covered my bra, but I can't keep it because that really annoys me. And for $28.99, I don't want anything that annoys me. Since we've already mentioned it, let's go for this next torrid dress, which I can tell before I even put on that I'm not gonna keep it. This, to me, looks worn. The print is barely perceptible, like it's really, what is it even, floral? But you can see it's been washed and worn, and I would, if this was mine, I would consider this, like, not for donation, I would consider this for throwing away, but I will show you what it looks like on, and I believe this is then the one that's $26.99. This has definitely be worn, been worn and washed. It is clinging to everything, which means that it's probably a little shrunk because Torrid dresses don't typically do that. And it looks bobbly and this is a no. Love the color, love the design at the back, that little like hole, keyhole, bigger than keyhole. Love the length, love everything. It's just worn and I'm not paying for worn. I picked this dress. Let's go for another dress that I picked where is it here it is i already gone for this box i can't wait to film i get too excited when the box comes uh this is the one again my pick woman's jilly or is it gilly g-i-l-l-i -L casual dress size 1x originally 48 dollars, and they would like 20.99 so let's try that on i also forgot to tell you what this is made from Ugh. That doesn't look nice, does it? Definitely <laughs> very worn. Uh, this is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. This dress, I love the color of. It feels like it's, ugh. <laughs> I had to cut the filming because I showed you my underwear, but look at this tag. 
you know, you can tell when things have been washed and worn too much. Um, I see viscose, I see spandex, I have no idea what the composition is. Let me show you the colour because it's not showing very well back there. It's this gorgeous purple colour. I love this like ruching at the top or you know this gathering. It has a nice wide elastic and then it just hangs down. I think this looks nice. Um, I think it feels good, it fits well. My only thing is because this is like up here it kind of shows a little bit more here than I would like it to and because of that I now I know it was really quite worn because that label was really ratty. Um, I'm not going to keep this but I do like it and I do think it's pretty. It's just a little snugger than I would like or not like if this was just a smidge lower it wouldn't land here but it's right under my boobs so it's going to Love that it's high neck though, but this one is not the one I'm going to keep. I put two items together, both my picks. This is the Torrid button down shirt, size 1X, $45, now $19.99. I can tell you it's rayon because I've owned, I own these tops. And this skirt was also my pick. It's the unbranded casual skirt. Estimated retail was $36. There's no way this was $36. And they want $16.99. That's probably what it was full price. And it's a 1X. Let's start with the top because it's the one thing I think I'm going to keep. So um, it's just, it's a little big. It's there. Is it dolman sleeved? I, they're loose, these shirts are loose, but I really like them for days at work when I'm just feeling fat or just feeling blah and I don't want anything to show any part of me. These are great, they look nice with skirts, they look nice with jeans, they look nice with capris, they look nice with everything. They are oversized and you are able to, you know, make them a little snugger by knotting them, but I really like these and they're the, I have one in like a dusty color and then I have them with prints and they're my like grab when I really don't know what to wear, I will grab one of these and wear it. The only negative is because they are rayon, 100% rayon, they crease ever so, ever so easily and the patterned ones are nicer because they don't show the creases so fast but they're cool, they're thin and I really like them. So I'm going to tuck it in so you can just see the skirt. This skirt is a horrible material. It is like the definition of synthetic. It feels nasty. Uh, does it even have a label I can look at? Not here. So does it have one here? It does. 92% polyester, 8% spandex, no branding whatsoever. I love the hem and that's the positive. I love the stretchy waist. I guess that's a positive. I love the color. The material is just horrible. I'm going to show you so you can maybe see the texture that shows it's synthetic. And when I put this on, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but there are holes along the here. You see that? You see those holes? So this skirt is worn and done and not mine. Um, I'd say it's a shame because I love the silhouette. I do, but I hate the material. So if this dress had been anything other than this material and it, skirt rather, and it didn't have holes and I'd have kept it, but it's, it's going back. This, I'm keeping. This was also my pick, the woman's, uh, where is it? Ling Bryant casual dress, $71 originally. They want $25.99 in a 16 plus. It's a very small 16 plus. Now I've been after a Peplum dress for a while. If you've been following my channel for any time, you would have seen me trying a few on. So when I saw this, I thought I would try it. It just makes me look like I'm pregnant because you can see my belly and this like ends on top. So it's like, I've to me, it's like that's the start of my baby bump. And I'm not pregnant and my top you know it looks like that the skirt is extremely tight um, it's not there's no give there's no stretch in the waist it's just not very comfortable and it looks like I like the concept and I love the sort of idea of this had this been longer and a little looser and had this been a little a little longer I would have loved this but as it is it just misses the mark and this is made from, I've got no idea, but it feels like jersey. It feels comfortable. Like the material, the dress doesn't feel comfortable, the material feels 
comfortable. And while I've got this on, let's go ahead and try on a sweater. Also my pick. This is the Woman's Starling Co. Sweatshirt. Originally $48. They're like $18.99 and it's a 1X. $18.99. Starling Co. is a Macy's brand and $18.99 is probably what I would buy it on sale for. Uh, Macy's? Um, here it is. It's fine. It's just not really me. It fits. It's a taxi carrying a Christmas tree with these um, um, beads. It says happy holidays. It's cute. I thought it could be an option for wearing to work in December, but it just isn't quite me. I don't know what it is about it, but I put it on and didn't think I need that. So I'll be sending this back. This is 65% polyester, 26% cotton, and 9% rayon, but I won't be keeping this one. I've got two, I've got uh, one more item I picked and two more that the stylist picked, but I've got two items that I cannot try on. The first are these pants, let's put this one down. Oops. These pants were picked by me. They are the woman's Mito Shop casual pants, 1X. They claim to be $71 new, but these are Honestly, these are trash. They're, they were never $71. And if they were, you got ripped off. Whoever bought them, you got ripped off. And they want 25, um, sorry. They want 20 99 which is still a rip off for these. Hang on, I gotta get the sweater off. It is not that cold today. All right, that's better. So here are the pants. They have a new label on them. I can't put them on because they don't fit. So they, they look nice, right? But they are that really cheap polyester. Can you see me? I can see you. 100% um, polyester. They're just, these are cheap as chips. As we say in England, cheap as chips. They are poor quality. If I found out that these came from Shein or somewhere like that, I wouldn't be surprised, but actually, on the label, it says that it's a premier young woman's company line for the fashion, fashion forward and the free spirited modern lady. All clothes are manufactured by us and each collection is designed in Los Angeles. I guess it doesn't tell you where it was made. Oh, made in China. It's just, they're, they're horrible and they don't fit me. I couldn't get them up past my thighs. So no big loss, not getting them. And then the next thing is a, my stylist picked and I have put this on, it does fit, but it's, <laughs> Extremely uncomfortable for me. I have told ThreadUp I cannot wear linen. Do not send me linen, do not send me wool. And this is linen, they pit me linen. And my skin just, it, it itches. I can't wear linen. I don't know why they keep sending me the materials that I have expressly said I won't wear. I won't buy it. There's no point sending me linen. I won't buy it. But this is the, where are you? Um, not that branded. The woman's Jessie B button down shirt. Estimated retail was $71 and they were like $22.99. And I, I'm going to put it on. Um, oh, it just itches. It's like itching. The second it touches my skin. Ah. Okay, so it fits nicely. It's the right size. It's cute. The buttons are cute. Oh, it's just, but it's, it's just itching me. So yeah, it looks great. I love it. If this was cotton, it would be mine, but it's not. It's 55% linen, 45% rayon, and just, I can't do it. So I'm gonna take this one off right now and show you the last piece, which are these torrid bottoms. What are they? They are the Woman's tour, uh, no, there's so much torrid on here. The woman's torrid casual pants, estimated retail was 60, thread up price is 21.99, and these were sent to me by the thread up stylist. Since I didn't have a t shirt, I just put this one on. Can you hear my son singing? Oh, he stopped. He was just singing jingle bells. He's all ready for Christmas. Um, and anyway, here they are. That's not jingle bells, that's just noises. But he is still seeing. Anyway, here are these pants. I own these in navy. And my issue with them is that the waistband, sometimes I find Tora do this, is extremely t powerful. It's not that it's tight, like it does fit me, but it like, 
pores in and I don't always like how that feels. The, they are very cute. Again, I already own these in the dark navy and I don't have a desire to own them in any other print. Like the one pair I have is fine. I don't need any more. So these are cute and probably a good pick from the stylist but not something I need. This top I got from Shein and there was a Shein haul with this in a couple of weeks ago. So go check that out. Uh, but that's everything. So I put it over here. The only thing I'm keeping from these 10 items is this shirt from Torrid. I wish I could keep that first dress, but that puckering at the back is just really annoying. Um, so the only thing I'm keeping from this haul is this. Uh, will I order a goodie box again? Absolutely, why not? I do it every month. As long as I can find enough pieces that I think I'll have something I want to keep. I don't think I said this, but it is free to return, although I am not seeing a free return label in my box this time. Usually it's in an envelope in there, it's not in there, but I know I can go on thread up and print it. They do give you the option in case you lose it. I didn't lose it, it wasn't in there. Um, so I will go and print that and send this back. It takes about a month for them to, re to refund me and, well not refund me, to charge me for this item and go through like the whole like taking it back and whatever. So I can't order another goodie box until they have finished processing this one. So it takes me about a month to get a new one. That's why these videos are kind of monthly but a little bit off because it takes a long time. Um, but I'm keeping this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Done? Yep, you can come say bye. Bye. You gotta come in so they can see you. <laughs> we hope you're having a great day and we'll catch you in another video. Cut. What are you doing? His toys are under, under the camera. Ah. Say bye. Bye. So leave a kind comment below about what you like. Kind down below. So give a thumbs up. Bye. Bye.